Hello everyone, welcome back to Alex's Plays Griftlands. I'm going to continue from the one that was unfortunately two hours long. <laughs> Oops, but I'm going to try and cut it down into half hour episodes. One, so that it's more uh, digestible on YouTube. And two, because I'm making bread and I'm supposed to attend to it every half an hour. I'm making bread. It's going to be good. I'll let you know how it turns out in a future episode or catch me on stream. How about that? Uh, what were we doing? It's been a while, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, <laughs> but we have learned a lot from playing Sal on stream, so hopefully we'll do a little bit better uh, just in general in, in this situation. In, in this campaign with the whole new mechanics. Alright, we've got some cool stuff going on. Working both sides. We were... Let's see what the Jakes have got for us first, shall we? Um, we're sort of a double agent, I seem to remember, trying to infiltrate the, the Jakes. It's been a while. <laughs> we'll figure it out. What have you got for sale? It's Plucker the Swab. That's You're always here. Buy negotiation draft. drafts. Drafts? Draft graft drafts. Whenever you shuffle your deck, deal three damage to a random enemy argument. That would be great for a really narrow deck. Oh, we have a, a, an upgrade. Uh, draw two cards. You can change the synergy on it. I... Th <laughs> I, I already like the idea of drawing two cards, but um, you can set the coin to whatever you want. We have uh, a snail synergy, a tails, I guess. We've got a lot of head stuff, and there's one which fixes it to the same thing. Is it a graft? Do we have a graft? Just press G. <laughs> uh, we rigged two heads at the start of the negotiation anyway um, so we don't have the thickest of how many have we got? 19 cards that's a decently thin deck so we could deal damage every it'll be every 4 turns which isn't good enough apart from the fact we have some draw obviously so that will reduce it a little bit um, but not much draw so it won't be that often that we'll be doing 3 Three manipulate cards in a row. We do it. Again, like with the Sal situation, we're going to have a, uh, a diplomacy build usually. Just by accident, I guess. Uh, or temporal wire, which we can't afford. Can't afford this either. And prepared card deals two bonus damage. So if we, I remember we were dealing with a deck where the first card that you have on the left is the prepared card, uh, and there are synergies that work with that. <clears throat> in Sal's deck, that has only just showed up, I think. Uh, so it's, it's not a, it's not built into my way of thinking. None of it's built into my way of thinking. It's not like I'm used to this game. <laughs> Gain two power at the start of each battle. Lose two power the first time you take damage. We've seen that one before. We are charging our weapon as well. I do recall this. Two bonus damage with no uh, charging. Gain one power when you shuffle. Again, I don't think our battle deck is thin enough to... 24, it's even worse. To warrant a, a shuffle. Uh, okay, well... There's a person up here. Oh, nothing to buy. At least we've got an opportunity to... Have a look at our deck and take a little bit of stock of where we are. <clears throat> We're moonlighting with Calandra. Uh, see what covert jobs Fellamo has that need doing today. So there's the Barons and the... Normal... Let's do, I think this is where we finished the last episode. We finally infiltrated and got them to trust us for one. Uh, sure. Let's try this side. What have you got for me? What brings you back? Requisition and RPG. Nice. Always oh, up to code, sure, sure. I do like the RPG. I've come to terms with the fact that using these things, not saving these things till the end battle is actually really good. Um, getting them out of your deck and making sure you get through a fight that could have been more difficult. Um, and then just not having that card anymore because you'll find something else later. Uh, thinness of deck is actually a lot more important in these games than I gave it credit for. You have my assignment, I take it. Hope you're ready for a challenge. Uh, I don't have a choice. <laughs> Get a new card, Krill Icor. Sure, if you want to use. So, this one is the one where you 
you know, you lose 10 health when your power reaches zero. You could potentially ride the wave by having another card that keeps giving you power or a graft. Um, but you lose two power every turn, so it's a lot to keep up on. So after three turns, you take 10 HP. I mean, I probably don't want that. <laughs> Sentry is a form in a bug, one of the worst kind. She works her shifts too hard. Accidents happen and people get hurt. I need to teach her a thing or two about the importance of workplace safety. We shall see. Great, go find her and give her a good scare. Use force if you need to, but don't kill anybody. We don't want to provoke the barons. I assume that my other task was gone. See, in the Sal campaign, if you recall, it would tell you what the quest was going to be, so you could choose which of the two to pick up. This time we didn't have that opportunity, which is okay. Uh, we've been there. That's the thing. Intimidate or beat up that person. Let's see what we've got on the uh, on the old provision inside whilst we're on the clock. What have you got for me? My rise equipment. Right, you're the people who we're pretending to be with. I assume at some point we're going to have the opportunity to actually decide which side we were on all along rather than just being a permanent double agent. Um, 30 defense is actually really good. Very expensive card. Fly to impair, expend, destroy for two uses. Fly three wound, expend, sticky, destroy for three uses. Uh, they're too expensive for now, but I've already requisitioned one RPG. Uh, there's only one person here. It's fine. Do <laughs> yourself. It's always worth having a look in case you find sort of a, a gem or some sort of. You know, uh, oh, I keep kicking things. Just checking all the levels are correct. Seems alright, right? Yep, that looks good to me. Uh, it's worth having a look in case there's some awesome thing, but there wasn't an awesome thing, but that's okay. Just because Sentry's in charge doesn't mean the labor's any lighter. Here's hoping another nuisance hasn't just walked in the door. Confront Sentry about their treatment of the workers. Calandra says you've been pushing your workers too hard. I'm here to ask you to consider maybe lightening your touch a bit. Is that what she says? You tell her that she's too soft. You can't let them walk all over you or you'll never make quota. We can threaten, Sentry will dislike you, or beat them up. We are the aggressor. Um, we are actually... Let's play a, a negotiation to try and get back into the swing of this particular deck. Uh, there is a because it's an intimidation attempt. You get those in your hand a bit. I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out. Right, so this is rigged heads. I kind of don't mind if you attack that. It, it means nothing to me um, because we have these. This is sticky, so at any point we can switch it back if we want to. <clears throat> so we might as well do max damage now. Prepared gain an action, but I have to spend that to prepare it, so it's not necessarily that good. Compose is not that good, but we can put the influence on first. Even compose is probably not that good because it's not going to be used. I won't. I don't need to gain an action. We'll just do this. We'll just play our hand. It's very simple. We don't need any of those. That can explode. I don't care. In fact, that's great bait. I, I appreciate that. Goodbye. Okay, easy peasy, right? Arcs in the poem. Opponent argument each turn for two to two damage. That's me. Uh, you are directly... Oh no, your intent is to attack this. That's fine. Uh, okay, one damage every time you gamble. Wherever this card is. Damage is reset when played. Right, so I can flip the coin. But I have to have a card that does so. Uh, and then that will gain damage. And then eventually... Great. Doesn't matter where the card is, it will always gain damage. Um, get rid of this then. Ow. When your damage spills over to Sentry's arguments, attacks might okay. So you don't get any spilled over damage. Fine. Uh, instead, vulnerable. Spend. It's probably not worth it. Let's see what we get from this. Busted. Reduces damage, that seems good. In two bonus actions next turn. That might be better. How much damage are we taking? Four. I, I think I would rather take the... Uh, give me this back. Take this and just apply it. Does this count as gambling? I don't think so. Because it doesn't say gamble on it. That would be my assumption. Just play this. And you will be uh, intimidated. So now you're dealing... 
No, you take more damage from hostility. I don't think we have any hostility cards, although this is great. Plus five damage and draw a card, but we can't get rid of that unless we have a discard, which we don't. We can prepare a card. Ah, that's even better. I didn't realize that was an option. Pick a negotiation card. Draw two cards, then gamble. Have your lucky coin. I like this. Remove composure, steal composure. Their composure or my composure? Probably theirs. I like this. We don't gamble enough. We do have a thing that benefits from it. Um, and it works with composure, which we don't have very much of. A lot of this, there's a lot of a damage in this uh, in this deck, which is amazing. This is in your hand at the end of your turn. Add another earworm to your draw card. Um, what happens when this eventually hatches? Uh, rave one of those, prepare a card. Prepare a card is probably much better. Just off of instinct and hunches, really. Because Kalandra's not with a rise, is she? I'll back off. The job's not worth my run. I'm glad we could come to this agreement. Then, if you dislike me for talking to you, fine. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not interested in your dislike. Get paid. Because Finch sent you to back off. What did you have to do? We just talked. I can be very frustrated. I'm sure. You get paid 70 shields. Uh, I don't want it. So I think what we do is use it whilst we're strong to get through a if we can get through the battle whilst we still have the power we don't take the damage so we'll just try that appreciate you came here first this morning it shows dedication to the cause quartermaster hq might also have some spare cobbled dogs that you can use uh what we can still do this one apparently talk to this joker then Comfort to see you again. Don't you work. Once more into the breach, I suppose. Talus as always, I see. Culling the herd. Battle. Uh, pick a graft. The barons want O-Rug dead. No questions asked. We need O-Rug dead. Civilian heavy labourer. What did this particular stat do to deserve it? Hey, for results, no questions. Understood. Yeah. I mean, a bit of a renegade run. But it is what it is. Yeah, we got it paid. We need... I don't know what happens at the end of this campaign either, to be honest with you. You find Orog's hovel and Mr. Sprawl. Or hovel if you're... Canadian. Hello, Brill. Brill! Alright, what are you doing? Whether it's heavy lifting or heavy hitting, Orog's not afraid to get heavy another day in the foyer. Huh? Feud. It says feud. The Spark Browns want you dead and they hired me to do it. Yes, off. Bully Orog into losing, leaving town. Orog will dislike you. I don't know if you have to kill. I don't like the idea of one versus three, so let's just bully you. Here's how it's going to go. You leave town and never come back, and I'll let you live. Intimidate attempt means we get these in our hands. We have spun the thingy. What does cause this to flip, by the way? Is it just the way it is? By one composure to a random friendly argument, we get one damage. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> by the way, I thought that apply to that, but okay, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. It happens first. Uh, gamble, remove composure, or steal composure. I think we gamble. We prepare a card? No. Then we will just oop, play this. I will... Steal this composure, please. Because I knew it was going to happen. I... I knew that. <laughs> Having two heads in a row is great. You are still going to die. I will composure this. Um, I'm going to play this as well and set it to snails. Because A, it does damage, which is great, and B, the next time we gamble we'll get heads, but now I'm on snails, so I can gamble to guarantee that I lose snails if I want to. So this helps. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Gain one stat whenever a card, 10 stats. Rook is dealt, 10 resolve damage, and this argument is removed. So we can just get rid of that. Uh, gains three composed whenever it creates a new argument. And this is me doing that. So get rid of that. Thank you very much. 
Uh, prepare a card, we need to do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let me gamble. Can't play all of our cards anyway, so we might as well do this one first, see if we can gamble. Uh... We'll set the coin. But now this is prepared, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> we see Every time you play a card. Right, so we'll play this anyway. Set it to heads. Use this to deal max damage. The sequence of events is very important. <laughs> you can just stay prepared, I don't care. How's your deck going? Flattery will get you everywhere. Right, let's try and get some damage done on you. Gain one damage each time you gamble. We'll keep a hold on that for now. Can I fix this with something else? No. Prepare a different card by preparing this card, but I think what I'll do is gain some influence. Now this is max damage anyway. Uh, it doesn't matter if we prepare a card or not, because it's the only thing that does anything by that, so we might as well just use the turns. It, it doesn't matter. And that can stick around. We don't need that for now. I, uh, I'm not interested. <laughs> I don't care. We don't have much composure in our deck, so we have to accept that we're going to lose a lot of these arguments and have to keep rebuilding them rather than try and protect them in the first place, which is what we do a lot with Sal. So this is a new way of working for me. Prepared, uh, plus five damage. So let's... <laughs> we only have three actions. It's four on the board. I'm going to get rid of this so that there isn't another one in my draw pile. Um, and then I'm going to... Yeah. Let's call it and put it on snails. Then this gets bonus damage. What's this? Hello. When destroyed, Oroch loses 9 resolve. Easy. And then you... Hi, <laughs> Cares if we lose. Obviously, we we don't gain our resolve back for winning, but there you go. Just do as you're told. What are you feeling today? Very um, very them focused negotiation tactic. Rig two of them and then prepare. Oh no, Barrack card. And I got one of those. Uh no, <laughs> not good enough. We can upgrade Jargon. Apply one composure to all your arguments. Every time you play a card, we did well with that, actually. That that gave us at least six, I think. That triggered three times previously, so I'm holding my chin like this and you give the impression that I'm more intelligent than I am. Whatever you say, I'll do it. You'll never see me again. Orog slinks away. Bye. It doesn't matter he's left out. I don't care if he dislikes me. Let's see if there's provisions for me. Why targeted? It's kind of okay. Choose a card in your hand and give it a sticky for the rest of this fight. <clears throat> Destroy after three uses. Having a card stick around is great. It does need to be a card that there needs to be another card in our hand that we want to stick around. One temporary power, which is only for this turn. We don't have enough draw to make things like that worth it. I, I will buy this, however. Our battle deck is very thick, but also we're not battling. <laughs> we'll get there. Be a shot. A rug has been eliminated. You get paid 175 shields. Pick a graph reward. Move that. Whenever you gain fully charged, gain four overcharge. <sighs> not bad. Start of each turn, gamble. Whenever you gain fully charged, gain temporary. I like this because we have a card which will gain one damage every single turn plus extra damage when we actually gamble and we can fix a lot of gambling. So I, I like that. We can decide the fate of those gambles. Somewhat. This opportunity will disappear. A mysterious gambler has been seen playing his plate in the bog. Or, your friend Idri is in trouble. 
Always the friend one, because the benefits that you can get from someone loving you. Oh, that's sleep. Um, is pretty good. I don't. Know. The other one could have been anything, but if if it had been a card that I could get, or maybe some HP versus that, then it would be uh, the other one would have been a no-brainer. But this is the no-brainer this time. Make enough of a racket to draw Necto's attention, then Idri looks up at you with wide eyes. <gasps> Rook. Who are you? This has nothing to do with you, Hunter. Stay out of it. I'm going to attack you because you're a dick. <clears throat> you're going to regret messing with any of mine, pal. Although I will let you live when we win, which is a narrative roof. Uh, so, gain one overcharge at the start of every turn, which is cool. Increases max damage of all cards by one for each stack of overcharge. Right, let's have a look at what we got. Three actions, nothing special going on here. Spend one charge, deal two bonus damage. Double your overcharge. By three defense. Three defense gain. Three concentration. Increases minimum damage of all attacks by one. We only have six defense on the board. And we can't stop you from doing anything. Start here. Great damage. I don't need to do too much damage to you. Excuse me. I assumed that the minimum damage being... Well, maybe it went up. I, I wasn't paying enough attention. We'll improvise... Uh... Yeah. Mark. When you take this target game, one charge and reduce mark by one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mark you for... Death! Owie! That's okay. Right, so we gain in a charge. Where did that come from? Gain one defend per empty cell. Start of your turn, gain one charge. Right, 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 right. So we do actually have enough defense quite a lot. If we spend our charge well enough. Sticky any of these? Oh, really? Gain defense equal to the damage dealt by this card. We've got a lot of destroy cards, which we should probably use so that we can get rid of them. Attack once for each charge. You're not attacking me, so I'll do as much damage as I can to you, I think. Basically means spend all of these. Now I can just do that. This is actually amazing. So there you go. Uh, I will accept your surrender. Now get out of here. Ooh. Deal bonus damage equal to the cost of the most expensive card in your hand. We don't have that many uh, expensive cards. I think the worst is two. We don't even have it. Yeah, we don't have any three cards or any X cards, which would be great. Um, deals max damage. Free when you have no charge. That could be a good finisher then. I think that went okay. <clears throat> I don't want to add any more uh, cards to my deck because we've got so many already. And we didn't need any. That was fine. Stop, I won't go any near your Adrian again, alright? My grudge dies here. Too right. Yeah, 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 I did. Come on, let's get somewhere. So did we leave? Great. So what do we win for that? Excuse me? You're already on my side, huh? I'm not gonna let you die. But this is why, okay. And then you gain two experience on a random card, that's decent. Cool. Well, we've got time for another fight, I think. Let's have a look. What's going on? Does, does this change during the day? Well, it does give us an opportunity for a random encounter. A Hessian priest. You accepted Hesh. Uh, no. I will guide you through the meditation that is sure to connect to the powers of Hesh. Meditate. Duplicate chosen battle card. Which remove a chosen battle card. Let's have a look at that. Sure, why not? Uh, something basic, like this. <laughs> What are these? Should play those, huh? Should we get rid of that? It will hatch. I don't know if these are going to hatch into something better or something worse. <laughs> you know? Uh, let's find out. You know, let's not get rid of something like that. We can get rid of something like this. Because uh, that could turn out to be really good for us. There we go. Now we've got a slightly thinner deck. 
we have now lost a capability. <laughs> um, as a result, our mind is clear and our burdens are lifted. Thank you for the random card removal, which cost me nothing. That was amazing. Uh, it's just you again. I don't, I don't want your stuff. I love daily report at the drop point. Very well. You arrive at the drop point this time without ambush. Drop quickly in a bird scratch. Only you and a few others understand. Value your report. Find a message left by your counterpart on the other side of the wall. Help an acolyte of Hesh receive stolen goods from a spree in camp. Printed instructions read, documents that are embarrassing to the cult of Hesh have been stolen and are apparently in the possession of an exiled spree raiding party operating in the fog. Make contact with Delena, a cult priest in the region, and coordinate to recover the documents. Accept. Leave. Where are you, Delena? Is it here? Nothing else to do? Having your own parish is the closest to common deltry and can get to nobility. The rules are different in Haveria, but maybe nobody told Delano. Simply spreading the word of Hesh through Labatia's camaraderie of a swill hole. Join me? What does this do? Restore 10 resolve. Give to 60 shills. Not good enough. You're Delano, I'm Rook. You pay for help. You are hoping for someone a little more. I guess. <laughs> I could let you work things out with Hesh personally, if you prefer. No, no, Hest's tentacles writhe in mysterious ways. Perhaps you are a ripple left by his passing. Yes, that's a good thing. So these documents? The Spree have the documents, they stole them. And they're now hiding, hiding out in the bog, waiting for things to blow over. And now you want me to walk in there, guns blazing, to get them back. Do any people have Luminari for that kind of thing? No, I need to keep this quiet. Using the Luminari would invite questions that I don't want to answer. What I want you to do is distract the Spree leader. Offer her a score that she can't refuse and then take them out of the encampment. I'll sneak in and get the documents while you're out, then we can meet back up for payment. What score should I offer? I'm an honest grifter, not some honest grifter. Not some bandit. I've arranged something. A merchant caravan has broken down on one of the bog's back roads. Their cargo will get the spree's attention. I, uh, too many questions get um, people silenced. Loose lips sink ships. We'll do this, uh, and that should be a good half hour episode, I think. Or it could take forever. You find the bandits where Delena said they would be. The leader Cougar, here's your approach. Who's there? Oh, it's you again. It's just a simple grifter, I mean you no harm. How did you even find this place? Had some big players from Murder Bay were in the bog. My specialty lies in finding things that other people don't know about and I'm good at my job. Which is why I sought you out. I have a proposition. We are big players, you have that part, right? We'll spit it out then. But if I don't like what I hear, I'll have you killed where you stand. Attack the entire camp. <laughs> no. Convince Cougar you have a lead on a big score. The merchant caravan nearby transporting goes through the gate. It's lightly defended and it's stuck. We could take it if we worked together. Um, I don't like you not, not believing me, to be honest with you. Right, so we've rigged... Uh, uh, we're going to rig one more head and then all of our other gambles we don't know about. Ooh, I forgot about Blacklist. Gain one damage for each name taken. Yes. I forgot about that card and I really like it and it's a shame it hasn't shown up so far in this episode. Game 1 influence deal max damage. <clears throat> I'd like to prepare that but I can't. If that could be sticky, that would be sweet. Uh, we might Look, let's do this. Do this. Do a damage and then we're good. We're going to take a lot of damage but there's nothing we can do about it so... This card costs zero. Draw two cards. Get rid of this. Play this. Right. <clears throat> this is now four because we're gambling a lot. I don't think this is coming around again. We have a very thin deck actually, but you haven't got much left. If we do this, this is free. And then I think I would rather just cash this out. And then next turn you're done. Which is why I was thinking, there's no point having cash out gaining um, energy, gaining damage each time we play a turn at all, uh, if we're not going to use it properly. So, do that. Void. Uh, attack two random arguments, no. I quite like these hostility cards on this 
So I'm starting to think that um, Rook's focus is hostility, whereas Sal's focus is um, diplomacy. Because a lot of these hostility cards work off of our coin, which is great. Right, uh, rig one snail or draw a card. Um, I guess we could rig a snail. Sluggish. Get it. Your offer sounds good. Almost too good. I like good offers. Let's, we'll hit the caravan and we split the loot. 80-20 deal. Of course, lead the way. Me and my people will follow behind you. Do the talking. We'll step in if we need to. Google rounds up the ships and heads out. You play along. Shall we do the next bit? We might as well finish this quest. Let's see what happens. Find the caravan. Someone is arguing loudly with a very disgruntled Oshnu. Get moving, you useless pile of food. Wait, did you hear that? Who's that? Oh, a grifter. What do you want? Um, threaten them first. Because I have a feeling... Not so much what I want as what you want. As in, do you want to do? You're surrounded by bandits, friend. As a personal favour, I'm giving you one chance to work away uns walk away unscathed before my associates pop out and bog and cut you down. So, uh... Add a kickback card to your draw pile at the end of Tact's turn, okay? We're attacking that again. Five damage and draw a card. Almost absurd not to run that. Take names, oh. Can't remove any composure. We don't need to do that. I think we have to do this. It's 10 damage now. Our influence on that list of names. <laughs> we could do one more damage, but... Let's set it to heads and see if we get the compo... Oh, well, <laughs> get the composure on the one that's taking damage, please. Sorry. We will get some composure from fighting a fight, so we'll do that at some point in the future. Uh, cash out seems like a good idea at this point. It is free. I want to pay 10 shields to win the fight. I can't win the fight anyway. We'll play this. Set the coin to snails that gives us a damage. Why that? I don't care about this. Smells really good here. I can smell pizza. Oh, gimme. Food goes in here. I can't play any of my hand! <laughs> I don't need to. Except for the fact that it cost me money. What is this? Don't need it. All my intimidate draws at once as well. Whatever. I gave you 10 shills to get the negotiation over with as far as I'm concerned. Deal plus one damage for every argument you have. Discard this card, draw one card and gain dominance. Rig two. Then improvise. Uh, hmm. I've noticed how all the um, hostility cards are snails, and all, well, many of the diplomacy cards are heads. Why did my ear. Why didn't I get my earworm? <laughs> I'm glad this deck's so thin, though, because we keep getting put. Um, the Intimidate cards in our hand, which really ruined the end of the last go, so I think that we take nothing. Take it, take all of it, it's dropping what dying for. Here so to have a way with words, Grifter, and let's see what we've got here. She's happy with what she finds. You were kidding about this haul. We'll be eating the good part of the Oshnu once we fence this stuff. Here's your finder's fee. Ask for your agreed upon share. Ah, just a cotton pick a minute. Leave him by 20%, not a finder's fee. Yes, I do. Also, you said 80-20, but you did not say which way. So, I'm getting the 80. So, okay. Uh, we are on that, so we can gain two influence. Do we need it? Why not? Uh, I don't really mind if that goes away. That gets duplicated, of course. It's our first uh, argument of the fight. So. I don't know what happens if you rig a heads and the snails at the same time. Only one outcome can be rigged at a time. So we get rid of that, which means the damage probably goes onto there, which is not what we want. When we could instead do exactly the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. 
Oh, he's going on there instead. Well, that's fine. So... Uh, no worries. No bloody worries. We'll promote some trickery. In two bonus actions next turn. Perfect. The fact that that costs nothing, or it costs one, but you don't have to pick it. So you get one cost for a choice, and then a zero cost card, which is that one. It's amazing. Um, get rid of that. Parry card, please. Cool. Although we can play all of these. Do I want... We've got a uh, two in three chance of getting... Um, the composer on one that we actually want. Oh, of course we fail it, but whatever. Uh, now it's and draw a card, which is amazing. Prepared game one action. But we don't need the action. But who cares? We should do an actual proper fight so that we can get some of our resolve back because we're a bit... Feeling a bit down in the dumps, and I think blood will <laughs> help. Take names is back! In your face. Got that. I really want to get rid of one. Can the reward be to remove some? Deal four damage to all enemy arguments. That's good. On heads, which we can do, but that would need to be sticky for it to be any good, really. I don't think we need it. We're letting our influence die, so I think getting more of it is not that important. We're not spending it on stuff, so I'd rather do more damage. Uh, duplicate those two arguments you create in every negotiation. Perfect. Alright, slow it, here's your money. Can't blame it for trying. So I hand this in, which I think should be the next bit. And then we can finish the episode. That took seven minutes. I didn't expect it to. Did you get the documents? I did, thank you. Hope Kugel wasn't too much trouble. Successfully occupied. Uh oh. You lying thieving now, can't you? Why would you miss. Why would you meet back here? Status cards cost one additional action in battle. And now we fight. Well, that was going to be a shorter episode, but <laughs> still fighting something. Keep me alive, Griffer. I can't pay you if I'm dead. Go away then. Run. Leave. RPG. <laughs> that was great. I was hoping that we would see our RPG, and there we did. Um, I, it has to be this, I'm sorry. Just because of the amount of defense it gives us. And we should get four for the undercharge? Correct. Which is ten, which means we take no damage. Although we're cloven. Lead cards no longer expend. Lead cards no longer expend. That seems like a buff. Okay. Um, I might have to kill you to get rid of <laughs> that debuff, to be honest with you. Spend or charge, attack once for each charge. Uh, I don't think we need to do that. Oh, there's no damage in our... Start here. Now you're on five. I really want you to go away. <laughs> you're attacking me, huh? I'm just gonna lay the damage on you. It's 15 damage right there. For each charge, not for each uncharge, but that's okay. We get five defense, which is eight, which means we're only taking a bit of damage. Might as well use this one because it's got more XP on it. Uh, I gained one evasion as well. Dodge the next hit. Perfect. But the five is not going to hit us anyway. Poke. Wait, what? <laughs> Make your mind up. It said evade and five. Uh, come on. What's this? Deal damage to all fighters on that team. Action on, action on the surface of the bottom because of burst <clears throat> Uh More info was not more info. Uh, okay. Do 
use that. Get rid of it ASAP. Was that all of that? So that's hatched into numbness, apparently. Okay. I didn't even know it was hatched. Oh, this is another one. Hmm. But you can destroy it later when you when things are a little bit quieter. Improvise a card. Apply a three defense. We don't need that. Well, you can give it to you. Uh, where are you taking damage from? Both of you, huh? Well, not you. You're doing nothing. So you two are attacking. Uh, we have no damage in our... And so we probably have to play this in order to get something. Uh, I think we need to draw two cards just to get... Ooh! Look at that. It has to be this one because we can't... We haven't got the energy for that one. But... all we get. That's all she wrote. So everyone's doing a little bit more damage now. Can't heal you, unfortunately. What is this? We're just going to have to do eight damage to you then, aren't we? Um, and spend a charge to do bonus damage on you. And this... Well, it's not enough damage altogether. Um, I would rather do this and then this. That's most sensible. Though. Um, and the one. Two, there we go. Thank you. We're going to execute you, but you're fine. <laughs> Be gone. Don't know how to. That's the same. <laughs> Why do you hate me? Uh, we've got a lot of cards here, so these have to be really good for us to want them. Play to Scorched. Whenever burn is triggered, don't have any burn. Attack once, we've got that one. We have any overcharge attack twice. Uh, oh, upgrade. We usually have a lot of charge, so we sh when we when we play that, we have a lot of charge. So we definitely want to make sure we're doing as much damage as possible. Um, we can destroy that, but I'd rather not have it. We can leave it, so you don't have to take that. So well, then don't. Yeah. Nice. Status cards. <laughs> Whatever. I have to kill the other person to get that to go away. Uh, here's your payment. Get paid. Get paid. 150 shields. Like a graft reward. Fine, 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 fine. Don't mind. Lechfist dislikes me. Who are you people? Uh, at the start of each battle, gain discard up to two cards and draw that many up to two cards and draw that many new cards. We did have one in Sal on the stream. I can't remember when. Where you can basically discard all of my hand at once, as much of my hand as I wanted to, and draw new cards in a negotiation. That was very good. First time you draw a card, prepare that card. That's a, how am I supposed to... Why? <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Whenever you play a slurred speech card, restore, I'm going to take this. The negotiation graphs never seem as good as the battle graphs. And if I have a choice of a battle graph, I'm almost always going to take it over any negotiation graphs. Just because they seem that much more valuable to that type of battle. Which is a shame. Because negotiation graphs could be good. Right, that's going to do it. It's been 43 minutes, I apologise. But at least it's not two hours long. Uh, and until next time, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope you enjoy listening to me actually think for once, which is very difficult. Uh, until next time, I guess I'll see you. Bye.